Hi, I'm Carl from Spirit Seekers Ghost Hunts. And I'm Nikki from Spirit Seekers Ghost Hunts. We hire out the use of old buildings that uh, have apparently got uh, stories of being haunted and then we stick these buildings out for the evening uh, in the hope that we will find some sort of paranormal activity. This church has been here since 1822 when it started life as a Baptist church and it was turned into a community centre in 1996 hosting plenty of activities including some paranormal ones. So what sort of paranormal activity have you experienced during seances here? Apparitions, people that we've invited to come along have seen figures of uh, various people. Mostly it would have been uh, of a man. Uh, they've seen this figure of a man staring through the inner windows downstairs. Um, they've also seen him on the stairway quite often. We are, we are actually in the room where you do do the seance. What actually happens during a seance? We all hold hands and we ask the spirit to come forward. And we also ask if we can make noises in different parts of the room. And we hear responsive taps, like two taps for no, one knock for yes, um, in different corners. Uh, we've also had a chair move on its own in here, and we've seen different apparitions in different parts of the room. Now, you two have been doing seances for years, but for somebody like a newcomer to a seance, what kind of reaction do you get from people who come along to um, experience this sort of activity? Some people can take to it quite easily. Uh, we've had lots of different experiences, um, particularly with this uh, building. There has been a few people that have felt that there may be a slight negative energy uh, here and because of that they've had to uh, leave temporarily. The ma majority of the time though uh, it's it's more of an, uh, an interesting thing that we gather around in this circle, try to boost the energy and we quite often get some interesting results with things moving and sounds. It's rather than it being a scary thing it's more interesting what we can find. Now Nikki, you told me that this is your favourite space to come and do seances. Why is that? Because of the direct responses we get. Um, other places it takes a little bit longer but when you're in here you just straight away you get something and even though he doesn't seem a very happy man, he seems happy enough to talk to us. This man is, is the ghost that does haunt the former church, now community centre. You do have a lot of stories to tell about this man. Who exactly is he? It's, it would seem that he is the former priest. We have spoken with him before and we've asked him whether he would like us to stay and communicate with him. He's a bit shy, I feel, sometimes. He, sometimes he doesn't want us to be here. And one time that we did ask this, uh, we heard a noise downstairs and found that the front door had opened on its own. Does anybody ever leave feeling that they don't want to come back because of what they've experienced here? Oh, no, I'd say it's, it's also got a very positive energy as well, probably because of the history and uh, there's been a lot of positive things happening here in the past. I mean, we've kept coming back. <laughs> um, we, we've enjoyed it. Oh, definitely. Whoa. There you go. Anna Snowden, who did tell me that while she was there, she heard some tapping in the corner. Mm. Uh, it's a very spooky place. Yarm Fellowship Hall used to be a church, but it seemed plenty of paranormal activity, including those visits by a former priest. So spooky church of the month for you this month. We'll have something hopefully a little bit... Uh...